interior. Interior is going to go a little bit faster. So interior, you can show us a slide like this. The crust is about 30 kilometers thick. So first you get the crust right here. You see here, the crust. So this is a cutaway. Then you got the mantle, then you got the liquid outer core, then you got the solid inner core. So we can see another picture of it here. This is a little bit different view than this. You see the, that one is a little different. This one is a little different. So here you can see the crust, mantle, liquid. We call this liquid outer core, solid inner core. Crust varies in thickness from about 20 to 70 kilometers from 12 to 43 miles. The other thing good about this one is also it tells you what it contains. Olivine, uh, magnesium, iron, silicon oxides. Liquid, this part is liquid, iron and nickel, solid, iron and nickel. As you're going inward, the material is getting denser and denser, more metallic. As you go more outward, it's getting lighter in density and it's getting more rocky, okay? So a crust is about 30 kilometers thick and less thicker under the ocean crust. The ocean crust is thinner than the continental crust. Okay? The most we have dug in the crust is roughly five miles. So if, when we try to dig for oil and other stuff, we can't dig too much because our metals literally melt. Okay? Because it gets very hot as you go down. Uh, the density, if you just took the crust by itself, the density of just the crust is 3.3 gram per cubic centimeter. What did we say was the density, overall density of the Earth on page one when we were doing the overall uh, density. Okay, keep that in mind, 5.52. The density of the crust is 3.3. .3. That means the crust is more rocky. The density of rock is more around three, okay? Now, as you go down, the density is gonna start increasing. Watch this. Mantle, uh, mantle is the next one is about 2,840 kilometers. It is mostly made up of silicates. Silicates is the word we, we use when we mention SiO4. And you saw that in the chart that I put up, SiO4. And the temperature is starting to go way up, 600 to 4,200 Celsius in the uh, mantle. By the time you get to the down under, way down under the mantle, 4,200 4, Celsius. It is a plastic-like molten solid, so it's uh, very liquidy, but it's not complete liquid. It's solid. It flows like a liquid, okay? And of course, you've seen the material that comes up from the mantle because you've seen lava flow, right? Uh, when a volcano happens or something, the lava starts spewing out. You see that mel molten material, the red hot, it's flowing down. That's the mantle right there. This explains to us how the heat gets uh, converted in the mantle. The, cold, the uh, hotter material rises, and then the colder material sinks. The core of the earth is hot. So the core of the earth is acting like an oven, like a hot plate, right, the fire. And then the, fire, the, the heat is rising, and then you've got convection current in the mantle. That convection current in the mantle is what drives continental drift. You know, the plates of the earth go around, and then the heat rises, and then that energy is what's causing the continents to slide past each other. So you really need this activity for life to exist. Otherwise, the planet is dead if there's no heat rising and, and sinking and no continental drift. Without that, no life can exist. You need this, you see? The next 
material, the next down under, when you go here, you see here, you get 6,000 to 4,200. By the time you get to this part is liquid, nickel and iron, okay? So the temperature goes from 4,200 to 4,800 here. 4,200 to by the time you go down here, 4,800 Celsius, okay? And we believe, we have good evidence that this core of the uh, Earth, the outer core, is actually liquid. It doesn't just flow like a liquid, it actually has the properties of liquid. Uh, it's basically like an ocean. You know the movie, the, uh, To the Center of the Earth? And then they go down there and uh, journey to the center of the Earth, they go down there, there's an ocean? Well, it's partially true, there is ocean there, there's liquid. Okay, but of course, there are, I'm, I'm not going to say there are dinosaurs there and everything, uh, but uh, that theory that there's a liquid ocean there is true. This is it, right here, this, this layer of liquid. <coughs> Solid core is below that, is mainly most of iron with a density of 8.9. So as you're going down, the density is increasing, right? The density is increasing. By the time you get to this guy, the density of that is pure iron and 7 to 8 gram per cubic centimeter. Notice if the density of the crust is 3 and the density of the core is 7 to 8, it kind of all averages out. Therefore, the average density of the Earth, 5 and a half. It's between 3 and 7 and 8, you see? That's the average. So it says it's mostly made mostly of iron with a density of 8 to 9 gram per centimeter cube. It is about 1,200 kilometers thick. Since the pressure of the earth is mostly on the inner core, its melting point rises and it becomes solid, even though its temperature is still rising. So the temperature is going from 4,800 to 5,000, 5,000 Celsius. Okay. To understand that, we can show um, let's go back one. We can show a chart like this. This chart shows you the temperature of the Earth as you go inside as a function of depth. The temperature of the Earth, this blue line, the temperature of the Earth is increasing. This is, you're in the mantle. However, even though the temperature is increasing, the melting point of the material in the mantle is also increasing. Okay, melting point, by the way, is something that you learn about in chemistry or physics. You say the melting point of, uh, for example, for what's the melting point of water? At what temperature does water melt from um, solid to liquid? Uh, the melting point of water is zero Celsius, right? Uh, an ice cube will turn from a uh, solid ice cube to water at zero degrees Celsius. But the melting point is a function of the pressure we put on the material. If I put an ice cube inside of a pressure cooker and, and, and increase the pressure, 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 now what's going to happen to the melting point? It's going to rise. Now I need to raise the temperature to like 10 Celsius in order to melt ice cube. It's going to become harder to melt it. Why? There's more pressure on it, you see? So as the pressure, as I'm going down, the melting point is also going up. The melting point also going up. So if the melting point is above the temperature, if this is above that, the object remains solid. Okay? Even though it's getting hotter, the melting point is also rising. So that's why the mantle is solid. 
Now, what happens? The temperature rises, 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 rises. The melting point rises, 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 rises. They crisscross. Now what happens? The, now, let's, let's make them in a different color. Here's the melting point. And then here's the temperature. Now which one is higher? This is the, the red one is the melting point. Now the temperature of the material is hotter and higher than the melting point of the material. So will the object melt? Yeah. It will turn from solid to liquid because it's hotter than its melting point. You see? So that's why the liquid core of the Earth is liquid because its temperature is higher than its melting point. Then if you go beyond that, look what happens. As you can tell here, after that, the melting point takes off. Okay, so basically after that crisscross, the melting point goes like that. So when you go to the solid core, the melting point gets higher. Why? Because the solid core, the pressure is so high on the solid core, very, very high pressure. So now it's like almost impossible to melt it. So even though its temperature is still rising, it's going to remain solid. So it's kind of really, really weird because you have a, you have a solid, then you have a liquid, it's like ocean just flowing everywhere, and then under that, solid. Okay? So it's in, the liquid is embedded inside. Okay. So when you're researching about your own planets, Mercury, Mars, Venus, try to see, does any other planet have this weird behavior? Do they have a liquid core? Or is ours the only one, you know? Mm.